Pinnat Media, Marty Blackborough, go check him out, yeah? Listen. Growing up I had a dream, something no, no one else could, could see. see. Tell me what it means when your faith has fallen beneath your knees. The people need someone like me to show them photography in public is not a crime, you'll see. Marty go grab the camera, the order is live and ready They got mad though it's legal, abusing power, the petty The donut must be forgetting, the founder of Pinnat Media Leaving them sweating, going live on YouTube You can see them regretting, this ain't a joke, I ain't playing around Section 43 ain't working if I see you about I'm the legal representation all over my nation So be ready to see me piggy, I will blow your house down Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to the channel if it's our first time around here So something way way different today I'm off for a bit of wild camping, me and missus Let's go check it out, Ilkley Moors So here we are guys, this is our camping spot for the night We've got the tent set up, I've got all the fire pits set up I've got a little barbecue cool thing that's set up An eco-friendly barbecue that once you've used it you can then put into the fire No rubbish, no danger to the environment That's how we roll so I just want to give a shout out right now um, to Adam Hamlet. Um, he is Adam in Wild. There is a link down below to his channel. Now Adam, um, Adam loves outdoor camping. He loves the open air and he loves the wilderness. And he is a massive Leeds United fan as well. So everyone who doesn't like Leeds United, go on, drop your comments now. He's a top man of Leeds United. He loves it. And he's, um, he does a lot of what he does due to mental awareness. He's suffered mental health himself in the past and he's trying to help others through it by encouraging getting out in the open air, wild camping, walking in the wild, etc, etc. And he's doing a really good job of it. He's had some really good promotions. He's been on ITV News, he's been on radio stations, you know, newspaper articles, etc, etc. So it's a really good cause. So I recommend it to all you guys, if you're having a bit of um, a hard time, a bit of mental health issues, get yourself out in the wild, get out, enjoy it, and check out these views. This is Ilkley on the Yorkshire Moors, looking out, I'm sure I'm going to get some brilliant nighttime photographs with the Canon using bulb mode. I'll set my tripod up later, and I'm sure we'll get some brilliant pictures, so I'll check back in with you later in the night guys. Natural material, all natural material uh, barbecue. I've never seen one before, but I thought I'd do it because we're out in the open. I don't want to believe in any rubbish, but quite cool. It seems awesome. I don't know what it's made out of because it's it be like wanting it burn afterwards. I think it's got wooden stuff underneath it, as we can see from the picture. I'll show you it when I light it. Go, well, guys. Like I said, I'll show you it when it's lit. It's all made out of like cardboard, wood wood skewer things for the top, like. It's like a weird, weird, a weird kind of polystyrene. A mouse? A dead mouse. A dead mouse there as well. Oh, well, it's okay. There's only little things here and there. And anyway, then these go all grey. And we cook as, um, cook as dindins. Not bad. Quite cool. I've never had one of these before. Easy people. So it is now about 11 o'clock. Um, campfire's going. I'm sat here chilling, relaxing. My camera looks really grainy at the moment. It's a 4K, but I'm guessing it's just because of the darkness and it's using its night vision tactical moves. Um, our lass is um, in the tent now. If you can see it. Can you see it? No, it looks like you can't see it. Hang on. There you go. She's in the tent keeping warm because, um, I don't know, she's cold. I'm red hot next to this beautiful fire. Absolutely chilling, relaxing. Beautiful night, loving it, absolutely amazing man, I encourage anyone to get out there, get into the wild Don't pay for these campsites, these crappy campsites where you pay 20, 30, 40 pound a night, whatever Get out there, find yourself a good field, find yourself a good bit of woodland Just look after it, don't leave all your rubbish behind, you know, clean up after yourself And then you're on to a winner Nature the views that it looks over there. Let me go show you these views, guys. Come check this out. Look at that. I know there's not a lot to see, but just to me and my eyes, it is so much more beautiful. I can see so much more. But that is the town of Ilkley in West Yorkshire, which is right on the border of the Yorkshire Moors. And it is 
it is stunning location, absolutely stunning. I put my torch on. Can we see how, yeah, we can see a bit more with the torch. Not a lot though, but beautiful, absolutely beautiful, guys. Honestly, I'm loving it. It's getting a bit late now, so I'll probably check back in with you in the morning. I'm going to sit there next to my campfire playing music. I turned my music off at the moment because, um, yeah, we don't want no copyright content. But uh, <laughs> it is lovely. So, guys, I'll see you soon. Milky Moor after the massive moor fire a couple of years ago. Okay, so a lot of people get a bit twitchy about it all. Uh, and someone's rung in. <sighs> now, I'm just here to give you advice. Uh, someone bitched about me a little fire. Yeah, okay. Hello. More than, more than under control, Hello. Yeah, it? I'm just here to give you advice um, that you can't have fires on the moor, okay? It's like a <sighs> council thing. There are signs everywhere. Um, uh, there's not signs everywhere at all. Okay, well... I haven't seen a single sign anywhere, right. mate. Okay, if you're not saying that's fair enough. So, how long are you staying? Just, just last night, mate. You're not staying tonight? No. Right, that's fine. Like I say, I'm just here for advice that we've had a call from a member of the public and uh, you can't have fires on the moor, so that's that's as, as far as it's going to go. Just If you were staying another night, then just, you know, advise yeah. you not to, but I don't, I don't know. You're you local. I'm from Leeds. Yeah, we a couple of years ago, um, someone lit one of them. I know there was, were a big fire recently, even, yeah, wasn't there? Yeah, someone lit a portable oh, no, barbecue and it, really. got, it got really out of hand and went everywhere and it was like five days, yeah. national news and all that. So, no, uh, no, I'm very that's, careful, that, that's, as, as you can see, you know. Yeah, no, no, that's fine, as long as you're aware, so uh, I've done my job. That's fine, man. All right, enjoy the rest of the weekend. Top man. Take care. Well, good morning, guys. Good morning to me anyway. Don't know what time you're watching this, but yeah. As you saw, just got woke up by a PCSO. So we can't have fires at Yorkshire Moor. I really don't give a shit. I'll have fires as much as I want because I'm not an idiot and I keep it under control. Bonkers, eh? Absolutely bonkers. Brilliant night last night. Oh, it's a bit chilly now, though. It is definitely a bit cold. But we're going to have to get packed up shortly and head back home. Brilliant it was. So guys, as I said earlier in the video, please check out the link below for Adam Int Wild. Check him out, drop him a subscribe, check out his videos, quality. Oh! So there we go guys, <clears throat> that is the end of the wild camping trip. Really enjoyed it, I had a brilliant night. It's a bit nippy this morning, but it's all right. Nice and cleared up, you'd never know we'd been here, as you can see. Not leaving a single piece of woodbush or any of that. Get out there and give it a try, guys. You know what's coming now, don't you? As always, guys, stay safe, peace and respect.